In this video, we will learn how a shell is modeled and defined. Each shell is classified according to a cloud shell standard, which defines the shell, its structure, attributes, and functions. The cloud shell standards documentation files are available on GitHub under Quali Systems. And in the Quali Community Integrations page, filtered by standard. While the standard is just a document that defines the shell settings and default behavior, in Shell Foundry, shells are created out of a Shell Foundry template, which is the implementation of a specific standard. To see a list of the possible templates, in command line, run Shell Foundry list. For example, the networking switch template implements the networking standard, and the resource template implements the shell resource standard. Let's create a shell based on the networking switch template. In command line, navigate to a folder that will contain the new shell, and run the following command. Where my switch shell is the name of the shell we will create. The shell is created in the folder you ran the command from. Second gen shells are modeled with Tosca, an open standard for designing and modeling cloud based services. You don't need an in depth understanding of Tosca to develop shells, and we will introduce all the important concepts for shell development in this video. The shell definition YAML file holds the shell model specifications in Tosca format. The first line indicates the Tosca version. Metadata provides details about the shell, including its author and version. The import section indicates the shell's Cloud Shell standard. Cloud Shell standards typically represent broad categories or roles of resources, such as switch, router, compute server, and database. The node type section is the main part of the shell. This particular shell is modeled as a new Tosca node that derives from the Cloud Shell node switch node. This parent node is defined in the imported Cloud Shell standard file and lists all the configurations that were defined in the standard. Before we begin developing shells, let's understand what the shell inherits from the standard. The standard is not related to specific vendor, device, or app. It is a general description of how shells created from the same standard should integrate with Cloud Shell. The standard defines several key elements. Shells can be modeled using a hierarchy of building blocks. We call the shell itself the root, and under it we have a sub-resource. For example, in the generic shell, the shell's structure includes ports and power ports, while in our switch shell, the structure includes switch-specific elements, like chassis, module, and different port groups. Attributes are used to store information about the shell. This information is presented to the user in Cloud Shell Portal and can be used in automation processes. Attributes are defined for all levels of the shell's hierarchy. For example, the root level has generic information like vendor, model, user, and password and the sub-resource level may have attributes such as port description. The driver interface is a Python class with the common functions that the shell driver inherits from the standard. For example, save, restore, and load firmware. This concludes our video. We hope you enjoyed it.